welcome back guys to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm gonna be talking about a very interesting company i'm sure you guys are gonna like this one but before getting started i want to take this moment and thank every one of you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and liking my videos i really appreciate it and it helps the channel big time and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so so today we're going to be talking about a very very interesting company but before that let's do a little bit recap of some of the stocks that we suggested at the beginning of december to keep it to keep it on your watch list or if you guys really believe in the company to make some kind of move so you can make um money out of it so some of the companies that we discussed is i don't know if you have seen this video the beginning of december i posted this video the top spec stocks for december this is just spec stocks you know there are a lot of stocks of course to make money with but this is just spec stocks and the reason i chose spec stocks because uh, a lot of people want to pay attention more to the stocks you know they since they all start at around ten dollars people usually buy heavily into it and usually the stocks kind of run up to 15 20 dollar very quickly and you can simply make money out of it it doesn't work always sometimes if the merger didn't go through you're gonna be losing money but at the at the end of the day you really have to understand what type of risk you're willing to take you know the reason i i do this kind of moves is because first i have a goal of taking this public account two hundred thousand dollars so everybody can learn from my mistakes and at the same time from my success and the other one is i always talk about the risk that is associated with it you know when i was recommending this company it was trading around 18 19 dollars the risk was much much higher it was nine dollar per share but some people already got an opportunity to buy it when it was trading 13 dollars 12 dollars was less risk even though the merger didn't go through you can be able to buy it at you, you're gonna be losing about two dollars per share but the reward is much much higher but anyways we talked about this company i bought more than 100 shares right now i only have 20 shares because i'm just waiting till the merger is completed maybe i can buy a little bit more and i want to use the money that i got from this and put it in other spake um, companies that i have in my watch list so if you see right here at the bottom i sold about uh 30 50 and 20 shares that is overall about 100 shares that i sold and uh it was a very good profit and i have used it to put in other uh, specs that are on my watch list which is northern genesis d capital and um stable road acquisition uh, and trade and acquisition and the other company we talked about was luminar technologies this was one of my favorite one because i caught it early i got it when it was trading at 13 dollars and 46 cents and i ride the wave all the way to 41 dollars and uh, i sold most of my share when it was trading around 41 dollars because I want to get that two thousand dollar and distribute it among newer specs you know the faster i had to do those swing trades the, the faster i can be able to build uh this portfolio but today i have a very special company for you it hasn't uh gained a lot of um price yet so we get a good opportunity maybe to look into it to put on your watch list of course do your own profound research and if you like the company you can make a move and get the best out of it so this stock is geek capital you know they finally announced that they're going to be merging with uh e-lightning motors lightning e-motors and that is a very good news because before it was a rumor and a lot of people were not sure if this is going to happen or not but now most likely it has higher chance this will going to happen right here i have about 190 shares it's of course it's a small type small percentage about five percent or so and I haven't gained that much. It was um, only $22. I bought it at a good price, $13.12. And and I never thought I would get it at that price because it was trading at $14.55. But luckily, the market was not doing good today. So it went down all the way to even $12.66 at some point. And I also have some warrants on this one. So I can kind of maximize my profit. I made a video about some of my warrants this account is only for warrants it has about about two thousand dollar gains so far right here if you see about 200 warrants i bought it for a very cheap price or it gave me about 60 dollars or so so warrants are pretty much a portion of the spake you know pretty much doing an option with the company and you can exercise it depending on 
where the expiration date is and how what type of strategy that you're planning to use so i'm just giving you some ideas so that you guys can keep it in, in mind so i would put this company in my watch list because i see this company maybe doubling very soon very quickly i'm sure you guys can know that you know it's not like a, a quantum physics to figure this out you know a lot of people might not highly interested in buying into it because some long-term investors they have to do more analysis the merger has to happen and they want to invest in a well-established company but me using pretty much common sense and seeing what has been happening you know there are high chances this is going to twenty dollars or so even more than that because the company has a good business model in place right here if you see uh you can pretty much uh, uh, see that uh, they're merging with geek capital 3 and you can go and see their website and the website actually says a lot about that because um if you click on their website it talks about uh, geek capital 3 and the lightning e-motors logo is right here too and these are some of the amazon prime vans so you can see a lot that the merger is more likely to gonna happen and that's why there you know, a lot of excitement and a lot of you know pictures are all over the place so if you want to learn more about uh, what the company does and where it's going here you can come and learn a little bit about it there is the web uh, conference call you can listen to it because it's always good to do a well established uh, research before jumping into companies like that and go and read the investor presentation and pretty much you can click on read more and it can simply take you to the investor presentation it is a 45 pages of presentation i'm not going to talk about everything but i can kind of give you a little bit of highlight i read all 45 pages so i can just kind of give you a little bit about what the company does and where it's going so if we start here a little bit about uh, their overview so the transaction is expected to close at the first half of 2021 so the first half of 2021 is which means less than six months so from now right now we're pretty much beginning of 2021 right now is december 12 we got about 16 days or so no I, i'm sorry i said 16 days i think we had about uh, 28 29 days then after that's new year so about six months or so but within that six months so there is a good chance that this stock is gonna run up pretty much towards that uh, uh, deadline and the other one is uh the company is gonna pretty much gonna raise 273 million dollar cash and that is uh, how they're gonna merge with the geek capital 3 and become public so that is also it's a small but that is also good uh so the this uh transaction funding is what will result that 273 million dollars raise so you can learn a little bit about the ceos the cfo and coo and all that is important so in your spare time especially if you want to invest in this company in long term it's always good to really understand who the ceo is who the cfo is and what type of expertise they have so the founders and chief executive officer he has 25 years of technology and ceo experience and the other one is uh chief technology officer and chief operating officer cto and coo this guy has about 35 years of automotive engineering and manufacturing experience and last but not the least the cfo has 35 years of building companies and so this can be like again anybody can be a ceo if they founded the company but they these guys have experience and they're well, well matured in their business but you have to learn more about these people if you really want to know what they have done what they have accomplished you know accomplishing uh, being a ceo level for a bigger company is not easy small companies tomorrow i can say oh i'm a ceo of uh, creative minds i'm a ceo of jnh enterprises and all that because i established those companies and they're uh, smaller companies compared way way smaller companies compared to a company like this so this takes much much harder work so uh pretty much they have a very good agenda the key takeaways company overview financial summary and transaction um, summary so let me take you to um page 11 and talk about some investment highlights so if you see uh, uh strong strong secular trends 
uh, driven mass TAM. Uh, they have about $67 billion TAM of class 3 to class 7 commercial vehicles because this is an EV company and uh, I know $67 billion might not be a lot compared to Tesla but for this class 3 to class 7 uh, commercial vehicles that is a lot you know because this is way limited compared to uh, regular consumer based vehicles uh, so TAM means the the amount of you know market that is available targeted available market so about 67 billion dollars that's where they're pushing towards you know so so the company has delivered three four class three class four class five class six class seven evs and um here you can pretty much uh, learn more about the company right here it says existing sales with 30 fleets uh, that together operates about 500,000 vehicles of course that's going to be a gross plan they have in the future and they have they have a path towards 1 billion dollar revenue and uh, their goal is in 2025 to reach that 2 billion dollar revenue again you cannot compare this with other companies uh, that are in all completely in the EV industry because they have much much bigger revenue than this uh, their projected revenue of course this is compared to their uh, business model and the type of vehicle they're targeting to I feel like it's good because I have seen Nikola what they have done but uh, I see they have a very good competition with Lion Electric so those two are like something that are really an interesting me at, at the moment we, I have a little bit of share on both but um, I'm gonna be even more putting more shares so you can pretty much see what they provide and um, they're highly focused on uh, commercialized uh, ZEVs class 3 to class 7 trucks and buses I don't know if you have noticed what class 3 and class 7 buses are they're pretty much uh, those big trucks um, starting from van you know all the way to uh, you know those trucks that carry like uh, you know for example there is a good photo right here uh, with the DHA logo on it uh, so right here about charging uh, one thing they have a unique system is um, complete charging solutions uh, patented mobile charging uh, recurring revenue system with 10 years contract so they have uh, lightning energy energy as a service so if they monopolize this market themselves that will give them a very good competitive advantage so and uh, they have actually strategy in place with GM and uh, Ford so that is really good so and another one is uh, of course those three to seven classes of vehicles they have it's well diversified uh, that is another uh, good quality uh, that they have I mean sometimes you can be in this model but you can only focus on one class six or class four but now I can see they're really well qualified they can be able to attract bigger companies that are in this niche and another thing that we can see is that uh, some of the uh, product lines uh, they're chasing uh, you know class 5 I have personally got a chance to work in a company that operates class 5 a lot of companies that work in uh, electric industries they use this they might not have a lot of vehicles but still good uh, size and class 7 is of course like coach buses long distance buses even it could be like school buses they're under class 7 class 6 are more moving vehicles like uh, DHL delivery vehicles and whatnot class 3 can be any type of van even ambulances one of them so overall this is what uh, they're projecting to be that 67 billion uh, dollar um, targeted available market so always keep that in mind this is where they're heading that doesn't mean they're gonna get there tomorrow but that is the whole idea right so if we see uh, some of the uh, customers they have in place one uh, i don't know if you know about this company um, but amazon everybody knows what amazon is uh, amazon is a very huge company they might not only work with um, elite motors but they work with a lot of other companies as well but being uh, th this this company being one of their customers is a good news and the other one is cbre i have personally worked there as an employee i worked there as a business analyst actually in 2016 
So the good thing about it is this is a good big construction company. They are everywhere, especially where I, where I live here. And if you see a lot of construction, this company is everywhere. And uh, uh, right here, US cable provider, uh, European logistic operator, US fleet operator. So overall, key customers have now ordered 1,500 vehicles. So that's a good start. They have about 1,500 vehicles ordered. So kind of a good start. Not a perfect start, but a good start, you know, because there are companies who doesn't even have vehicles, you know, because if you compare uh, eLightning Motor with some other companies, some of them, they don't even have vehicles on the road. They have about 120, they have zero, zero, and zero, but uh, we'll see. It doesn't mean that um, because they have a little bit of vehicles on the road, these companies won't catch up with them, but this is a good uh, sign, right? That and some of the partnership and um, limited competition they have. And of course, there's um, uh, Green Power, a Workhorse, uh, there is uh, uh, Mercedes uh, Trucks. There are some companies, but one thing they haven't added here, I don't know why, it is actually um, Lion Electric. And I believe that's going to be a big competition for this company and a rival bass too. So those companies are going to be uh, having a very solid foundation of course and um, this is a good one because placing that dominant market positioning is very important for a company yeah right here what they're saying is e-lightning motors gonna pretty much dominate about 78 percent compared to all other manufacturers 65 percent right now from where they at that could be true but for where they're going it could be true or not because still you have no uh, clue which company is gonna come back and extremely succeed in this niche now there is always room to grow i don't know if you remember myspace when myspace was there people were talking about myspace but facebook came from behind and now look where facebook is um, blockbuster was there netflix came and wiped blockbuster so you never know which company is gonna succeed but overall because i want to be very honest you know i cannot take side and kind of uh, affected by if i like this company and trying to sell it to you guys but this is what i'm seeing so pretty good so far and selected uh current fleet customers so they have a very uh large variety of customers from where, what we're seeing so that 1500 delivery should be a piece of cake compared to the size of um deliveries they have uh so this is pretty much um uh, this is a blue chip customers right here and this is pretty much showing that uh, their overall uh, projected EV commercial growth mm -hmm. sales and growth right uh, so please guys go over all this slide so you can be able to uh, differentiate and understand what they're planning to accomplish because if I talk about all this 45 slides it's gonna take a while but let's talk about mm, their established strategic partnership because this is extremely important sometimes you can talk about having a company but if you don't have a well-established partnership in place how are you gonna put the vehicle together so one good establishment they have is ford and uh, another company here for components and chances and bodies and they have romeo uh, romeo power and they have Bork warner pretty much for motors uh, transmission and batteries you know hino Chances and bodies, of course, Delta or HP Electronics, DC, faster chargers, plug power is there too, fuel cells, infrastructure and channel partnership, Woodward, core software platform, and uh, there are, this is our, some specialty uh, vehicle partnerships. And so please read everything. But these are very solid partnerships. The more and more uh, they become uh, handling all these things by themselves the more profitable they become and that is more important for investors as well so keep that in mind you know these guys are a lot of partnership which is there are a lot of companies who's gonna get a piece of that meat right so at least you have to remember that so now they're gonna talk about what type of vehicle each have and which one is gonna be getting more customers and comparing all this and that now but let's see uh, their comparison their competition competition because competitive advantage is very important in the market uh, because at the end of the day uh, if you uh, have a lot of competition and a market is highly saturated 
sometimes it's going to be very hard to break through that barrier and become a very successful company. So electric vehicle, of course, Neo, Tesla, Xpeng, Workhorse. I mean, Tesla is no comparison for this. Tesla is way ahead of the game. And even Neo too, even Xpeng, maybe Workhorse, you know. And Auto Autotake, okay. Uh, these are some companies and some of them, they work with it. And here in charging and what the some other specs, of course, they are in different niche, but in the same niche they are in is Helion, um, Lion Electric, Rival. I believe those are very high competition for them. But uh, in battery and charging industry, maybe we cannot talk about charge point. Charge point is a big business model and well established business model as we speak. So this is operating benchmark uh, compared to where they are right now and versus um, other vehicles. So this is this shows me that still they have a huge growth ahead of them because some of them already overgrown big time and um, I'm not a, a fan of some companies here in this list because I am only invested in a few of them uh, it doesn't mean that you should not be but you know whichever company you feel like it's good I think you should do more profound research and jump out so when we talk about e-lightning motor evaluation benchmark we'll see I feel like good their position very good <laughs> Tesla and all this XP and all that they're about 15 19 X already and uh, this black power Nvidia and all that they are about 39 X 30 X and this is a uh, revenue and one company that I like at this moment is this uh, Lion Electric and that's gonna be a very good competition for them even a rival too uh, they're in good position Lion Electric and Lightning E Motors, and this is growth. Some of them already grown big time. Tesla, uh, and because Tesla is well established already, and some of them they haven't grown that much, but their revenue is way up there, you know. Uh, so that is going to be a good sign for this company because it has a huge uh, growth potential, room to grow. So. This is operating benchmark of selected EV spec mergers. How uh, these are pretty much comparing this company with other ones. You know, this arrival, uh, Lordstrom Motors, Lion, uh, Nikola, some of them grew right now, like last two, three weeks. You know, they were at the same level like this, but now they're bumpy because a lot of company people are hearing about these companies. So overall, what I am saying is that do your own profound research. Put it in your watch list, make a move if you can. Uh, but at the end of the day, you are the one who can do your own research and make a decision. I'm not a financial advisor, I cannot be able to tell you go buy it and you're gonna be uh, rich. Then I wish it was that easy. Everything needs some um, hard work and dedication. But if you put that in, you know, there is no other ways, there is no reason why you're not gonna make it. So, with that, uh, thank you guys for watching my videos. Please share, subscribe. And means a lot. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. With that, have a wonderful night, guys.